and welcome to the eFresh.com Fish and Seafood News. Today is the 18th of November. My name is Kim and these are this week's headlines. Bluefin tuna catches to be reduced. Politician dismisses pay cut call. Vietnamese seafood to net yearly target. New convention to manage fish stocks. Norwegian team completes cod genome. The EU Commission says over 45 countries who catch tuna have agreed to cut catches of the threatened Atlantic bluefin tuna next year. The EU executive says a decision by countries including the EU, US and Japan to limit 2010 catch quotas to 13,500 tons aims to prevent overfishing of the much sought after tuna. The Commission announced the decision following talks in Brazil by the International Commission for the Conservation of Atlantic Tunas. The body sets annual fishing limits in an effort to save the fish stock from extinction. Catches were lowered from 28,500 tons to 22,000 this year. Scientists say that is 7,000 tons over what they would advise. A call for Fishery Secretary Richard Lockhead to take a pay cut if he returns from fishing talks with quota reductions has been snubbed by the politician. The Moray Member of Scottish Parliament will head to Brussels next month for crucial talks at the European Commission, which will set fishing effort levels in European waters for 2010. Some predict the cuts in days at sea and quota proposed could cost Scotland's fishermen up to £30 million. EC Fisheries Commissioner Joe Borg will also push for the implementation of the Cod Recovery Plan. He says the right balance had to be struck between the scientific advice and the needs of the fishermen. But there are fears that another West Coast squeeze would force more boats into the North Sea, flooding East Coast markets with fish and forcing prices down further. Vietnam's seafood sector expects a rise in exports by the end of the year as a global economy continues to recover. Over the last 10 months, the sector earned 3.48 billion US dollars in export revenue, close to its target of 4.4 billion US dollars for the year. Of the total exports, Shrimp and tra and bassa fish topped the list, accounting for 36.9% and 36.7% in value, respectively. The EU has become the biggest importer of fish from Vietnam, making up 41.4% of the market share. Russia and Ukraine markets saw a sharp fall of 67.7% and 44.5% respectively due to the economic downturn. Spain, the biggest importer of tra and bassa in the EU bloc, said that Vietnamese seafood meets the EU food safety and hygiene standards. Agreement was reached Monday on a new organization to manage South Pacific fisheries. Fisheries Minister Phil Heatley announced a new convention text had been agreed which would create a regional fisheries management organization to manage non-highly migratory fisheries in the high seas. The organization would manage deep sea fish stocks such as orange ruffy and pelagic species such as jack mackerel. Participants in the new organization agreed fresh interim measures to prohibit deep water gill netting on the high seas. Mr. Heatley said unchecked use of nets in deep water resulted in lost gear, which can continue to ghost fish for a long time. The existing interim measures on pelagic fisheries, which expire at the end of 2009, were also replaced. Scientists from a consortium of Norwegian marine and aquaculture institutions announced that they have generated the first ever draft sequence and assembly of the Atlantic cod genome. The results include a high-quality genome assembly and preliminary annotation of the fish species. The researchers hope to use this information and the fully annotated genome to identify genes and genetic variations underlying important traits for cod aquaculture. The cod farming industry is of growing importance in northern latitude countries such as Norway due to its fish's high demand, declining wild stock, and relatively fast growth at low temperatures. In the next phase of the project, the consortium plans to continue the sequence the cod transcriptome and to investigate specimens from various wild cod stocks. Thank you for watching the eFresh.com Fish and Seafood News. See you next time.